the ancient Greeks had a common premise. What gives us the right to rule this place? We are hoplites, or hoplites, whatever. The Greek, uh, ancient Greek equivalent of the Roman centurion at the time. Look at me, look at you. Why do I not just take it? Because as a trained warrior, I am keenly aware of the existence of bigger fish in the sea. I'm not justifying someone come along do the same thing to me. In order to rely upon not loyalty, not duty, not honor, but the rationale of men, I must avoid justifying someone come through that to me. One way in which we do that is by not letting anybody do it to you. Oh, it's your religion? Well, can I join your stupid cult? Why not? See, I was born here. It asked me. I can point to it. I don't know where you're from. It, were you to have some issue with uh, the land or anything upon it? that you were unsure who would speak to about it. The Torah, for instance, says that you don't get to have all the sovereignty. It says different things, but it starts out with you don't get to have all the sovereignty. When the demon of illusion confronted Buddha on whether Buddha existed or he did or vice versa, Buddha settled the issue by saying do you feel that so you see Solomon we all have some Thor in us now, I don't claim to be the greatest druid that ever lived if he's a, if you're watching hi how you doing there is no philosopher that is afraid to meet his gods and we don't cheat at the Olympics the rules may be rewritten but the ferryman gets paid. You don't come here on credit and outlive us without paying a dime. See my uh, recommendations on absolute and total freedom of the press, mfrodeo.blogspot.com. My first rodeo. Wish me luck.